Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you're doing well. I thought for today's video we could talk all about the cozy and yummy scent of chocolate. Truly, chocolate notes can be really great or really bad. I feel like over my course of time, like thinking of scents I've liked, chocolate isn't always one that I gravitate to. Like sometimes chocolate can have a stink to it. If it's actually chocolatey, it can smell sickly and too sweet, too artificial. But I feel like over time I've definitely gotten more into a chocolate scent and I definitely have some favorites here. So let's just get into it. We'll talk about it as we go. I'd of course though love to know your chocolate fragrances that you love. Let us know. Spill the tea down below. What's good? What should we check out if we haven't yet? Please let us know. I'm going to start it off with the quintessential. I feel like chocolate fragrance, at least to me, this is what got me into chocolate scents and what let me know like I can like them. Like there is something alluring. There is actually something good. It's not all stinky <laughs> or too much. Like it can be cozy it can be delicious and even have like a softness about it and when I talk about this stink I know I'm like going off already but um think of like a true Hershey's chocolate bar like I don't think anyone thinks Hershey's is like the pinnacle of chocolate I think everyone would be like duh but specifically Hershey's chocolate bars they have a stink to them they have something kind of stinky even when you're eating them there's something in it like I you know it's still good there's something nostalgic as well but mm, there's there is something that goes on okay there's something different going on on. Anyway, the perfume I've been holding that I'm talking about first, this is Montal's Chocolate Greedy. This is, if you want to smell a chocolate scent, I think this is the first one you should go to. I love this one. Like I said, it's what got me mm, into chocolate scents and let me know like, okay, they're out there. I can love them. To me, this is truly, truly, truly a Cocoa Puffs scent. So think of the cereal Cocoa Puffs if you've never smelled it. I'm sorry your childhood didn't include <laughs> Cocoa Puffs, but this truly, to me, smells like like that kind of grain cereal. I even get kind of a grainy note as this wears on me. It becomes almost like more and more grain like on my skin with a soft vanilla and soft sweetness. This also could be like a powdered chocolate type of scent, but I find this to be pretty strong. It lasts really well on me. It really stays on my skin, kind of creates a bubble. I wouldn't say this projects, but it definitely stays around you or again, stays around me. There's also a little bit of dried fruits, I believe in this one. And only sometimes do I smell that like sometimes I really just smell like milky cocoa puffs at the beginning and then sometimes it's more dry smelling sometimes it's more milky but then as it dries down like I said it becomes more and more like that true grain cereal with a little bit of those hints of chocolate more just like sweetness and almost like a vanilla coming through but there are times when I can catch that fruit note and I feel like that just offsets this enough so it doesn't go too sweet to me like it adds that little bit of balance so if you have not tried chocolate greedy and you are interested in some chocolate scents, I definitely suggest going to a store, trying this, spraying it on your arm, see how it wears on you, see how you like it, because this is a really good one. I also find this really cozy for like nighttime and that type of stuff. I wouldn't necessarily wear this out. This is more staying in cozy type of fragrance for me at least. All right, the newest chocolate scent to my collection, this is from Keys, I believe is how you say it, and this is Wee Plus. I always wanna say We Please, but it's not. <laughs> this is a super gourmand scent, like everything from this brand brand has a very like realistic food scent profile and this one is like a s'mores so you get the graham cracker you get something like crackery bready weedy in the beginning I really get the graham cracker in the top and then as it dries down you start like the chocolate starts seeping in it's so interesting how it actually is layered like that you really do have different moments of experiencing this fragrance. The chocolate in this one to me is like a melted darker chocolate. There's a little bit of bitterness but still a nice like richness coming through. This doesn't smell like powdered chocolate though to me. This doesn't smell like chocolate greedy. This smells richer. It smells like a, a liquefied melting chocolate. Something that has a little bit more substance, a little more body like true chocolate. On my skin I do pick up something a little bit spicy, a little bit, I don't know if it's earthy but something like that. I think it's the patchouli coming out and that makes this last a little longer sometimes it can go a little like a tiny bit on the stink like stank it's a stink. It's different. But I still really love this fragrance. I love how realistic it is. I think it's a great chocolate scent. If you haven't tried anything from Keese, I really think that they do a great job at creating these really fun, 
and again, very edible fragrances, but there is a complexity about them. I think that a lot of the time, these types of fragrances are deemed really juvenile and in that way also simplistic, but I find there is more complexity in these than you would expect. Like I was describing with that opening and everything, you know, like how it changes, I really feel like they're just so well done. So that one's a good one to check out if you're super into edible scents. If you really want like a chocolatey s'mores type of scent, I would check this out, but if you're into just edible scents in general. Peace is a really great brand to try out and see if you'd like them. They now carry these at Lucky Scent and they also are at the scent bar, which is Lucky Scents like in store shops if you have one around you. That's where I picked this one up. I had it on my wish list for a while. I picked up this and the macaron scent, but I really want the marshmallow one. They have a really good marshmallow scent too. All right, next let's talk about a body mist. I love all types of scents. I just like what I like, you know, and this one from Bath and Body Works, I was surprised how much I like it. Specifically, I think I tie a lot of the scents of chocolate that I don't like to Bath and Body Works. Again, more in the past, like now when I smell things like the hot cocoa and cream candles, I can get more into it, but it's hard for me to imagine like burning that in my house, at least right now, because I'm like, I know I'm not baking something chocolate. I don't know why bakery scents work, but chocolate doesn't. So anyway, I was surprised when the vanilla mocha martini was something I liked so much. Mm, this is like nice and sugary, but there is something chocolate and vanilla to me going on. I get the same actually kind of mocha notes that are in uh, Vanilla Sky. I've talked about this one before, but to me, this is like the more chocolatey version of Vanilla Sky. If you don't know, Vanilla Sky is from Skylar. It's a vanilla fragrance. It has cappuccino, it has some orange in it. It's a really nice, like sweet, yummy vanilla. And I really feel like this is the richer, chocolatier version of it. It's very similar to that. Like there's something about them that really connect to me, but this one has like that chocolate twist to it. So this has notes of cozy cappuccino, vanilla orchid, and white tonka bean. It doesn't list chocolate in here, but obviously mocha martini, like mocha, <laughs> is in there for sure. Definitely a good one to pick up. I don't know if they still have it, but the semi-annual sales going on might be a good time to check it out. Next, I'll talk about a Skylar fragrance. This came out with the Scent Club. They do a scent every single month that they send out if you're part of the club. And I believe for October, it was Coco Cabin. I was super excited. I'm telling you, the Scent Club, the second half of the year, they were turning out some good scents, I feel like. Like they kind of left behind their more fruity or green scents and they have been coming at us with some really great, like kind of gourmand, more food centric scents and I'm down for it. But what's so interesting about Coco Cabin is that this is a very dry scent. I almost don't, like, you know, if it wasn't called Coco Cabin, I'd be like, okay. But the cocoa in here to me is like a cocoa powder, but very dry, very bitter. There's not a lot of sweetness coming in here you get a lot of woods. It almost smells like molecular or a scent that has like, I don't know, almost like a amber scent in it as well to me. Kind of musky. It's like Molecula One, but like with a little bit of cocoa. It's pretty interesting. I actually really quite like it. I would love, like I always say, to have a sprayer of this, please, dear God. Because I'd really like to just see how this would like cover my whole body, go on my body, that type of thing. So some of the main notes that they're talking about in this, it has cocoa, it has almond blossom, it has some chestnut. I'm looking to see though what kind of woods are in here. It just says vanilla infusion. There's some amber, there's some musk, there's birch in here as well as some sugar, some pimento. I don't get anything like extremely spicy, but it's pretty good. And if you're looking for something that has like a chocolate note, but you don't want something super sickly sweet, this literally doesn't really have sweetness to it. It's more musky and like a skin scent that they've made here. And I really quite like it. I, again, would love, love, love to spray this. I might need to just decant these so that I can like get that spray action going. Definitely a unique one when it comes to a chocolate scent. I guess next I'll talk about two that I have in my collection and they're not my favorite. I don't dislike them. And so if I don't hate a fragrance, I tend to keep it around because I feel like my nose is always changing. Things come around. Sometimes I've smelled something and I'm like, eh, but then I'll have like a weird random itch and be like, I want to smell that exact fragrance that I smelled that one time. Tell me if you're like that, please. So I have one here. This came out last year. I blind bought this because I was so excited that it had some chocolatey notes in it. It also has a lot of orange in it. This is from Catcherall and this is, which one is this? It's like, yes, I am. I am gorgeous. Yes, I am amazing. I don't know. Let me look it up. Like smelling here, it smells really good actually. That's what I'm telling you. Like 
your scent and how you take things in and what you like at different times, even of the year, different times of like the month, like things can change. This is Yes I Am Delicious. And this definitely has like a heavy chocolate influence. So it has cacao pod, dark chocolate. There's also some hazelnut, but there is uh, quite a bit of orange as well. And you do smell, I feel like that fruitiness. One of the things I don't love necessarily when we get into like vanillas and chocolates and these more edible scents that are more bakery, I don't always love when they add a ton of fruit. And so when I initially smelled this, that was something I didn't love. Right now though, it smells so good, but how I've explained this one, like me and Sam were talking about it when I got it, this smells like the Halloween candy bowl, okay? I don't know if anyone else can relate to this, but you know, you go out for Halloween, you get all this candy, you have chocolates and you have fruity stuff, like all the different combinations of different types of sweets in one bowl. This smells like all of it put together, okay? It smells like the chocolate, it smells like the fruity candy, it's super sweet. It smells like a Halloween candy bowl to me. <laughs> So what I get from this. I think if you're into like a chocolate orange scent, this might be something to check out. I think the bottle is super adorable. That was another reason I was really excited for it. So I know a lot of other people like different ones from this line from them, but this is the only one I've tried. And it definitely has that chocolate in there. This though, to me is more like a chocolate Tootsie Roll than it is like straight up chocolate. Like a Tootsie Roll is its own category. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like there's something else going on there. They're not like an extreme chocolate flavor, you know? Similar in why I kind of think of these two together. This one is Pinrose Gilded Fox. This to me also is very much like a chocolatey Tootsie Roll type of scent. So you're not getting cocoa powder. You're not getting melty chocolate. This though has an added spiciness and also booziness. You definitely pick up on the booziness that's in here. I believe it's rum and also again, something kind of spicy, almost something kind of aromatic as well to the chocolatey scent that kind of comes through. This definitely isn't as sweet as the Yes I Am Delicious one. I feel like this is is a more grown, like grown up, whatever that fucking means, uh, version of a chocolate scent. Even though I still pick up something kind of Tootsie Roll-esque, uh, there is something woody going on. I can smell that vetiver in here too. There's also a butter note listed. I don't necessarily smell like something extremely buttery, but again, I feel like the chocolate that does come through is still more on that Tootsie Roll side. Like there's something about it. That's what I get from it along with those other notes. So I feel like this is a more flirty, girly, fruity Tootsie Roll. And then this one's more more like the boozy, unisex, less sweet Tootsie Roll. <laughs> That's what those are. And like I said, I'm not wearing those all the time, but they stick around in my collection because I do think that they're unique. I do think that they're interesting. And that is one of the joys I get from my perfume collection as well. I have two more bottles that I actually have here. Next, I wanted to mention Exidolo's Love and Crime. I feel like I've mentioned this a decent amount of times in the videos on this channel. Now this is vanilla heavy. It also has some citrus in the top. This is just delicious, dude, so good. But there is a cocoa note in here and I do feel like it adds to this. I find in the dry down and kind of in the wear of this perfume, I do pick up on the difference that this isn't just a vanilla fragrance. It does have that cocoa in it, but there's also some spiciness. There's some star anise in here. It's just a beautiful vanilla, sweet, a little bit chocolatey fragrance. Mm, it's so good. A lot of people compare this to Lyra um, and it is similar. I prefer this one, but so delicious. Such a beast when it comes to lasting power as well. I find this to be super duper potent. Definitely one to check out. I think they've changed the packaging too recently. Very delicious. Very good. I guess because it has that citrus, you know, it's a little more vanilla, but I find that this is like the richer, deeper version of the I Am Delicious scent. All right, last for bottles that I have like here to hold. This is a newer one to my collection. This is a celebrity scent. This is from Sabrina Carpenter. She's a singer. And I think one of you guys let me know, you were like, can you try out the Sweet Tooth fragrance? So I was like, oh my gosh, didn't know it existed. Hell yeah. I bought this in the kind of set that they have going on, which was $24.99. I thought that was a great price. You get a 30 mil plus a smaller size and a lip gloss, which is the lip gloss I'm wearing. I actually have been enjoying it. <laughs> I thought that's just like such an amazing price. The notes are delicious. There's sugar, there's whipped cream, there's coconut milk, there's marshmallow, there's chocolate. Obviously that's why it's in here. There's some ginger there. I mean, it is a delicious looking note section and that's why I was like hell to the yap. This to me is a philosophy fresh cream warm cashmere and the new wrapped in vanilla body mist from Bath and Body Works had a baby, okay? I get that kind of milky creaminess that I get from fresh cream warm cashmere, even a little bit of that toastiness, but it's just 
denser. It is so dense. There's almost something, I would say, buttery going on in this fragrance, especially on my skin. I feel like the chocolate note in here is really giving it some density as well. It shows like on Fragrantica, which, you know, the notes on there are definitely not always trustworthy, but you know, it mentions a chocolate note, but to me, it's not just like a regular chocolate note. It feels more like it could even be white chocolate, something like that, something like that, you know? Uh, but I do think that it's adding something more to this fragrance. And I also just wanted to shout this one out because I think if you're really into sweet scents, you like fresh cream, warm cashmere, you like wrapped in vanilla from Bath and Body Works, this might be one to check out. It's pretty dang affordable. And I mean, the packaging is pretty damn cute as well. It looks like the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. <laughs> it's very, very good. Definitely again, dense though. Very creamy, very like milky lactonic to me anyway. Like I get a lot of that very sweet. And to me, this one, this is kind of how I feel about the wrapped in vanilla as well. Like I like this a lot in a lot of ways, but depending on my mood, depending on how my stomach is and all this stuff, like it can get a little like too heavy, like too thick. So beware of that. But you know, I know the people who love those scents, like love them and I get that. And there are moments in time where I'm just like obsessed and there have been moments in time where I'm kind of like, ooh, I don't know, that's a little much. <laughs> it's like a little much today, okay? But definitely one to check out. I think it's a really great celebrity scent. I'm hoping to do a celebrity fragrance video soon, so. All right, let's get into two fragrances I don't have, but I do have some samples and I think they're good enough to be worth mentioning in here. So this one, if you're looking for a really great chocolate scent that isn't overly sweet, it's more of that dark chocolate, really rich, I feel like is gonna be a great one for winter and wearing out, that is Acro's Dark. It has sweetness to it, don't get me wrong, but there is something elevated about this one. This to me is like a non-juvenile, non-overly sweet, like all that stuff version of a chocolate scent. This has dark chocolate, cacao, it has some hazelnut, it has some vanilla, it has some cinnamon. Like it's a very gourmand scent, but it is not going to be your Bath and Body Works gourmand scent. You know what I mean? So it's not nearly as sweet, but it has that richness. It's very bold, it's very still delicious delicious. It's just, you kind of have to flip your mind a little bit if you're only used to very, very sweet chocolate scents. It is like a decadent, like high percentage dark chocolate chocolate bar. You know, like there's something really decadent. It's still a dessert. It's still really good, but it doesn't have nearly as much sweetness as so many other chocolate bars out there. You know what I mean? A really, really good one if you're looking for a niche fragrance or you really are into chocolate, I would check that one out if you haven't. It's on my like long list of like, eventually I want that in my collection. And similarly, this is just like a little tiny sample of Vicious Cacao from Mason Tahit, I think it is, Tahiti. This is a caramel chocolate scent. It also has some warm spiciness going on. Definitely some warmth there. Mm, so sweet and delicious though. And what I really love about this is that this has an airy quality to it. Like there is something still light for all the notes you're going to see in this one. I am always so shocked at how like light and almost air spun this still smells. Something about the way the caramel is and the chocolate is, it's lightweight, it doesn't feel heavy, it doesn't feel super dense, but it has a lot of sweetness to it. I find on my skin this also gets a little bit more powdery as it dries down, but absolutely delicious, a really great gourmand. And I've wanted this one for a while, definitely on my list to get, hopefully sooner rather than later, because I think this is one of those kind of chocolate caramel scents that can be worn all year round. Like even in summer, I could see this maybe working and I want to try that out. So mm, definitely a really, really great one. And those are the chocolate scents in my collection, things that I want to get, things that I've tried, tested, and enjoy, some things in my collection I've blind bought. And I'm definitely interested in trying more chocolate scents. So if you have some out there that I haven't mentioned in here that you love, again, please let us know. I'm always down to smell some new things. And I love when I can kind of expand my scent to enjoy different notes that maybe I haven't enjoyed 100% in the past. So, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.